Thank you very much, Dr. Nasser. I would like to, uh, first of all, acknowledge and thank Dr. Nasser for his generosity. But more than that, I'd like to thank him for what he did uh, in my, for my family last couple of years. And this is how we became such good friends. My mother passed away about a year and a half ago. But I just want to thank Dr. Nasser for giving her the last year of her life as uh, favorable as he possibly could. He brought on in integrative medicine into the uh, care of my mother, which really made a big difference. And what he did for my mother, I'm hoping someday I can do for him and the Bangladesh Medical Association. The Bangladesh Medical Association, I understand in, in Southern California, is, uh, I believe this is your first conference, and uh, we're hoping that, there, that what we're going to see today with all the speakers is really going to set a standard for conferences for the Bangladesh Medical Association. Uh, because what you're about to see today in the presentation could very well change the way that you practice. There is a paradigm shift happening in healthcare today. And the reason that is happening is because of the state of medicine. The state of medicine and healthcare delivery system in the United States is, is pretty grim. I think you'd agree with me. The way that things are being delivered, the way that medicine is being delivered today. Because about 90% of all health challenges that we're seeing our, in our practices today are really as a result of chronic degenerative disease. Would you agree with me? Yes. And chronic degenerative disease, as we know of today, is preventable, isn't it? But unfortunately, what's happening is we're still treating in an acute care system, which means that we see our patients, and what we're doing is really helping to alleviate symptoms. But yet we know there's an underlying cause. The question is, how do we get to that underlying cause? We get to that underlying cause by different types of evaluations, highly specific laboratory testing, to evaluate what is causing the degenerative changes today. Obesity is on the rise exponentially, heart disease, cancer. These are all preventable for the most part. And of course, statistics are showing us a very grim statistic that 42% of all traditional practices today are failing. Did you know that? Yeah. And it's probably a little bit higher than that. And why is that? Well, they're failing for a couple of reasons. Number one, the insurance is really putting a crush on us, aren't they? to deliver more care, faster care, but they're reimbursing us less. How can we keep that, uh, keep our overhead low and our income high? It's a very, very big challenge. The other thing is that the patients are now becoming more the consumer demand in our practice. And, and raise your hands if you agree with me, if you've seen this in your practice. A patient comes in, it's different than it was 10 years ago, and the patient comes in with a wad of papers in their hands. They say, doctor, doctor, look what I found on the internet. Can I start treating this way? And if the doctor, the, the doctor can respond in one of two ways. Either the doctor will say, well, um, I think this is a bunch of crap and there's nothing that you're going to, that, that I'm going to do in here that's going to help you, so forget it. And what happens to the patient? The patient doesn't have respect for you as a physician. The patient gets up, walks away, and they go down the hall looking for another doctor that will agree with them. Or that understands and has an understanding and education behind what this research is. Or the alternative is that you've become educated in integrative and functional medicine and an evidence-based approach, and you say, you know, Mrs. Johnson, I've seen these studies. Let me tell you what I feel about them. And I'm going to make some recommendations based on some evidence-based studies that we've seen here. How many of you do that? How many of you would like to be able to do that? I think everybody has an understanding of what's happening in their practice. It is a consumer-driven uh, practice today. So if you don't have this education, and the evidence-based education, and the understanding, this is where patients are getting up and walking. And statistics are showing us also, this is a study in 2009, that over $40 billion is being spent. This is cash out of the pocket of the patients for integrative and complementary medicine. Over $40 billion. Now, this was three years ago. I have a feeling it's probably about $100 billion right now. This is soon to become a trillion-dollar industry. Do you want to be part of this? I think we do. So what has to happen? Well, let me tell you a little bit about what we do, the Institute for Integrative Medicine. We are science-based education for healthcare providers to meet consumer demands 
expand your services, create profitability, and fulfill CME requirements. We are an online education institution. Now, we started our organization about three years ago. And about two years ago, we had our first conference. Now, here's where the challenge came, because we felt that there was a niche that needed to be filled, which was teaching physicians, evidence-based, science-based, integrative medicine, not only the procedures, but the treatment protocols. So we decided we're going to put on a conference. First time out of the box, we decided we're going to have a conference at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. Big challenge, wasn't it? Not only that, but we're going to have it in the middle of summer. What were we thinking? Here it is, end of July, we're thinking, oh, we're going to fill an auditorium. So we had a lot of naysayers saying, oh, integrative medicine is far-fetched, it's not evidence-based, you'll be lucky to get 100 people there. To our surprise, the conference was July 30th to August 1st. It was three days. We had over 300 doctors show up. We were, let me tell you, I was very pleased. Got a little video here that shows just about a minute clip here on uh, our conference. And I'd like you just to take a look at that if we could. For the first time out of the gate for IFIM, this is a fabulous deal. At some conferences, they'll have a good speaker here and a filler here and a filler here. This one is just packed full of information. Physicians this morning were wonderful. They spoke really well. A lot of information that we can go home with to use, which is great. I think I can incorporate everything, most of it, from Monday. The integration definition is actually, you know, it's coming around. It's actually an integrative conference. For integrative medicine, this is probably the best conference I've ever been to. This is where they ask us for diseases. Um, and so I just love it. I think this conference has been absolutely phenomenal. It's good to know that you're not alone. There's a really big group of people who are out there doing this and um, are available to, to help. I'd like to address this to the two doctors that started it. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. I will be joining the IFLN. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a change happening. There's a paradigm shift happening in healthcare today. The patients are demanding it, the consumers are demanding it, and the physicians are asking for it. So what we provide is a 100% online certification in integrative medicine program. It's a university-based platform that is run and overseen by our director of education, Richard Freshdate, PhD. And I'd like to acknowledge that Dr. Freshdate has just accepted a position at uh, UC Berkeley. Uh, he's a phenomenal uh, educator and helps to run the entire program. Now, the programs that we have, we've got a number of them, but most physicians will start in our certification program. It's a 10-module, 100-hour certification program, all online, that you can do at your own pace. And the programs are designed in a university-based criteria where the first two-thirds of all of our programs are didactic, followed by case studies, real case studies with questions and answers, and then finally by treatment protocols. Now we've designed the treatment protocols to be phar both pharmaceutical and nutraceutical, so you can pick and choose. One thing we don't want to do is change the way you practice medicine, but we do want to help you add to the way that you practice medicine. All of our programs are uh, examination uh, evaluation at the end. You have to complete the examination by 70% in order to move on to the next. We also have a fellowship in cardiometabolic health that is uh, co-written by cardiologist Dr. Ram Dandelaya from Cedar sinai He's a lipidologist as well. We also have a fellowship in integrative oncologist in, in oncology, and that is co-authored by world-renowned Dr. James Forsyth, oncologist in Reno. And we also have 14 individual courses, 15 modules in the works. So the question is, why the IFIM? Well, the IFIM provides a 100% online program that you can complete at your own pace. It's science-based in integrative and functional medicine. So everything that you'll see in our programs is peer-reviewed, science-based. You'll also see improved patient outcomes because not only are you now dispensing pharmaceuticals, but you're also dispensing evidence-based nutraceuticals that will help to alleviate some of the need for some of the medication that you're providing. And that's something that Dr. Nasser did with my mother is uh, in her last year of care, he helped to decrease her medications by adding things such as homeopathics, by adding nutraceuticals, uh, and getting her off a, a lot of the medications that she was on. You'll see an increased profit because you'll develop a cash profit center. 
so you're not going to be so reliant on insurance. And of course, more free time to be able to do what you really want and do uh, practice the way you really want to practice. And you'll also learn from some of the best faculty in the field. The certification takes about six months to complete. Most physicians will uh, start their program maybe about an hour a night, an hour every couple days, maybe a couple hours on the weekend. So how is this practical? Well, because it's quickly and easily implemented into your practice, we've made it in such a way that as soon as you start working on these programs, you'll be able to implement some of these treatment protocols the next day. It, you'll learn evidence-based based treatment protocols, and you'll immediately be able to implement this into your practice. You'll be able to expand your evidence base, and of course, you'll be able to stay within your own belief system. Here are some of our world-renowned faculty. You'll be able to recognize up in the upper left corner, Dr. Briggs. She will be speaking here at 9.45 this morning. Brilliant, integrative uh, uh, physician. Dr. Dan Delia, of course, Dr. Forsyth, our oncologist, Dr. Fresh Tate, our medical director, Dr. Golding, Dr. Horner, Dr. Cass, an integrative psychiatrist you've probably heard of before. Uh, Dr. Bloom has developed many of the integrative laboratory tests that we use today in our practice. Dr. Kessler has put together a phenomenal uh, bioidentical hormone program, and Dr. Therrell is brilliant in neurology and neurotransmitters. So this is just some of our, our faculty here. So what are the benefits to you as a practitioner to take our course? We will help you to meet consumer demand by providing you the evidence-based medicine that you need in, in your practice in order to practice integrative and functional medicine. You'll be able to expand your services and increase your bottom line, improve patient outcomes, and you'll be able to position yourself as the expert in the community. Because when it comes down to it, it's really by referral, isn't it? Your practices grow by referral. So rather than looking up in the insurance log to find out who the practitioner is, what are, what are the patients doing today? They're asking their friends, they're asking their neighbors. You will become the expert in integrative and functional medicine. And also fulfill CME requirements. All of our programs are CME approved. So with that said, I want to thank you very much for giving me this time here. But more than that, I want to thank you for allowing your minds to expand today. Open up your minds and, ex and feel what it's like to be in the area of, of a paradigm shift, to see a change in your practice, to improve patient outcomes. And please let us help you do that. On behalf of uh, myself and the Board of the Institute for Integrative Medicine, thank you very much.